Hello Pisces and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from May 4th to May 11th. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind so we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle that busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when Pisces content is uploaded. Pisces content comes out every single Thursday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal read, please feel free to check out that description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and would like to subscribe, please click on that link to the Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings depending upon subscription level. Now, a little astrology before we jump into the tarot. On the 4th, we have the Void of Course Moon happening at 5.17 a.m. EDT. And at 10.32 a.m., that waxing gibbous moon is going to be in Scorpio with Venus in Gemini, square Neptune in Pisces. Focus on improving your boundaries. And as any energy reader or anybody else tells you, if you need to focus on your boundaries, it means because someone is going to test them. Do not be afraid to check a bee. Okay? Get to the heart of why this person feels they can test your boundaries at all. So that you can find yourself a soul solution. A solution for your soul. On the 5th, you have Venus in Gemini, sextile Jupiter in Aries, with a full moon happening at 1.34 p.m. EDT in Scorpio. It's also Cinco de Mayo, so go out and get your party on. On You'll also on that day, though, at 1.22 p.m., you will have a lunar eclipse. A full moon lunar eclipse, because that's just the height of the eclipse. It keeps going for hours afterwards in Scorpio. So in the morning, getting along with others is going to be great. It's going to be so easy. It can even bring you good luck. But that full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio, which is basically like having a new moon in Scorpio, is going to expose some very deeply held emotional issues. We're talking tower moments here, people, okay? Gird your loins. Face these fears. Come at them from a place of balance. You will emerge the out the other side stronger. You got this. You just need to believe you do. On the 6th, we have a void, of course, moon at 10.38 a.m. And at 4.04 p.m. EDT, it's going to enter in this waning gibbous state into Sagittarius. Keep a positive outlook today. It'll open you to new experiences. Share your wisdom with others. On the 7th, the waning gibbous moon in Sagittarius with Venus in Cancer. Emotional connections in love are highly important right now. Prioritize emotional understanding. On the 8th, in the morning, we're going to have that waning gibbous moon in Sagittarius. And at 4.28 p.m. EDT, we're going to have a void, of course, moon. And at 7.33 p.m., that, moon, that waning gibbous moon is going to be in Capricorn. Long-term plans can take on a practical approach. You can both be realistic and craft some creative genius plan. So get on it. Okay, on now on the 9th, the waning gibbous moon in Capricorn with the sun in Taurus conjunct Uranus in Taurus. Independence and individuality is the primary focus today. Standing out from the crowd is your primary objective. You want to shine in a particular way. People need to see you in this light. On the 10th, you have a void of course moon happening at 7.52 p.m. EDT. And at 10.05 p.m., that waning gibbous moon in Capricorn is going to go into that waning gibbous moon in humanitarian Aquarius. Make plans 
for with the future in mind. Don't think short term. Think how am I going to sustain these plans for as long as they have to go. Don't just agree to something. Sit down and figure out long term. How is this going to work? What's the real pattern? Healthy daily patterns are how you build a successful life. You must figure out how to do everything where you can sustain it. Not just in the medias. Okay. Now the 11th. The waning gibbous moon in Aquarius. Square Mercury in Taurus. Communication will be challenging on this day. Active listening skills might not be on the forefront of everyone's brains, including your own. Keep your ear to the ground and pay attention to all the rest of the forms of communication, not just the words, the body language. Read the whole person's energy, both the seen and the unseen. Your perception of the unseen is not wrong on this day. You're going to need those active listening skills. But you're also going to really need to be using your intuition about these people, okay? Pisces is a naturally intuitive sign, okay? You can read the people. It's not your imagination. I understand that it's not solid facts, and you might not want to go off of that. But take it into account. Don't discount your energy vibration. Let your feelers do the job. They have a job to do. That intuition exists for a reason. It's part of your natural protective instincts. Every animal on earth has intuition. Sometimes it's on spot on, sometimes it's not. And sometimes it's the difference between life and death that's spot on or not. Any prey animal can tell you that. Pisces, May 4th to May 11th. Not that you're a prey, mind you. Just that it's apparent in the behaviors of the prey animals. They can feel when a predator is naturally there. They're on the alert. You can see it. Their whole body language changes. Those instincts are good. You are just another form of a mammal. You have those same instincts. Pisces, May 4th to the 11th. Pisces, May 4th to the 11th. Pisces, May 4th. To the eleventh, Pisces, May fourth, to the eleventh, Pisces, May fourth, to the eleventh, Pisces, May fourth. clarify all these cards. But first, past, present, near future, someone to you, you did the someone, balance, outcome, summary. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. There is no gender in tarot. You're either walking up to someone and talking, or someone is walking up to you and talking. Right. And also, relationship in this context is a continued interaction between any two people. I'm describing the energy you place it on the relationship where it belongs. You might have noticed, it's like, hey, I've never seen this deck before. This deck is actually uh, somewhere where about north of 30 years old. This is my original tarot deck that I learned to play on when I was uh, 13. So been with me a very very long time a lot of history here in your past retribution it's five of wands energy so think of it as revenge energy it's five of wands is conflict so it's group conflict too it's physical altercations it's yelling it's screaming it's violence it's also create incredible competitiveness like a win at all cost attitude with that, that heatedness. It could be a sports competition. 
right? It doesn't have to be something negative. It could be sporting competition. It could be a competitive job. You know, it's a gossip. It's politics. It's office politics, world politics. People not minding their business. Vindictiveness. Some sort of retribution in the past led to some sort of offer coming in with that Ace of Cups energy. There's a promise of something. You know this person from already. You knew them even in your past. You like you knew them before then. Like either soulmate or they're already were in your life. They're an ex. They weren't a new person at the time, even though it was an Ace of Cups. Knight of Serpents. Any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Have me on the Sagittarius. Also a card of Scorpio. This deck is called the Merlin deck. Everything's got a, a tilt to it. A very specific tilt. Take a look there, that horse. They might have even seemed a little out of place. Some they might have been off balance with this person. Inconsistency in the Knight of Serpents for sure. If you take a look, that horse is way up in the air because there is a snake right there. Snakes and horses don't much get along. Horses know what snakes are. They're afraid of them naturally. They will act a little crazy. Also, you'll note that that looks rather like it's just some sort of Roman centurion. And then if you check out that background there, it looks a little bit to me like Scotland. The lowlands of Scotland. So this person may be even out of place for where they are. Some place that they, they're like some place they don't belong. They're that much out of balance. They're some place they don't belong. You're like, what are you doing there? You're very post turtle. Very aggressive, angry, snap post turtle. What is this? A post turtle. Uh, I don't know if you know that. It's a joke. There was uh, some farmer came driving down the road and there was a turtle up on a post and there was another one and then uh, they came uh, talking to him and he, he went and told the bartender about it later that he found a post turtle and he. And he put it back down on the ground. He said, a post turtle. Like, what the hell is a post turtle? And he said, well, a post turtle, it's a, I don't know how it, we don't know how it got up there. We don't know who put that turtle there. But we also know that turtle doesn't belong there. He didn't get up there all by himself and he doesn't belong there. And there's a running joke about certain uh, politicians that might fall in line with the post turtle. Anybody that you encounter in your life that is like, why are you in that position of power? Why are you here? What are you doing? You don't belong here. You know you're this, you're out of place here. This is not where you're supposed to be. You don't belong in this portion of my life, in my day, in this place. Post turtles. Six of Pentacles there. That benefit card. Some kind of reciprocity happening. Everything being in evenness. So someone to you. Cancer energy. Chariot energy. It's fast moving energy. A little sort of an impetuous energy there as well. Because they move so fast, they're not necessarily paying attention. The magician there. That's your energy. That's Virgo, Gemini energy. So you could be interacting with a Cancer or Virgo, a Gemini. But you could also just be manifesting and calling something in. Balance is found in conflict. Which is an interesting thing. It may indicate that you need more information about a situation. That's five of pentacles energy. It's feeling left out in the cold, but it's feeling left out in the cold because something happened. Could be with work. Three of pentacles energy. It also just could be an effort that needs to get put in to something. Could be being asked for a higher commitment in this outcome. Three of swords. It's suffering. Nightmares kind of energy. It's, it's outside interference of some kind of, of situation. That it's not, it just creates heartbreak. I would look up the angel number 33. This card clarifies that one. So something in that work situation that just leaves you out of balance, leaves you sad, leaves you not right, leaves you stressed. All right, hermit energy. It's Virgo energy. I need to go within. About this, this headache of this, this work situation. Seven of wands there. Feeling defensive, having the ability to make the decision, having the ability to make the commitment, having the ability to do the work. The question is, do you want? Is it worth the real effort? What is this retribution card in Pisces past? What's going on here? That's like getting the Three of Pentacles again. 
So some sort of commitment, some sort of marriage, it's in some sort of uh, conflict, vindictiveness. What is this retribution card? What's this retribution card? What's this retribution card? What's this retribution card? Queen of Swords, the air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Libra. Also a card of Virgo. A lot of Virgo energy going on here in your reading so far, Pisces. Retribution. Like I said, it's nastiness. There's something in this relationship, in this commitment, where you needed to make a head over heart decision here. Possibly you were in a relationship with some sort of air sign, but you didn't have to be. Wheel of Fortune. It's a Pisces Sagittarius energy. It's luck turning on your side. It's um, divine timing is at play. It's the divine at play. Time might have passed. Could be maybe you balanced out because it can certainly be a card of balance. Maybe there was a problem in a relationship, but you balanced it out. What's this Ace of Cups in Pisces past? What's this Ace of Cups? Message. Okay, so it was a communication. What's this Ace of Cups? What's this Ace of Cups? What's this Ace of Cups? King of Wands. The Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Me on the Leo. Also a card of Cancer. So some sort of communication coming in. Could be from, well, this is your energy there with the Pisces energy. Something you didn't know. Something you were confused about. Something where there was some sort of inequity happening here. Possibly by who one of these, whoever this fire sign was. Where uh, it's possible that this, uh, the actions of this person, this cancer, became clear to you. Or maybe it was the Cancer who made some sort of offer. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. It is a general reading. What is this Promise card in Pisces past? Mm, I feel like that's more Four of Cups. Like, what's this Promise card? What's this Promise card? Again with the Virgo energy. Queen and uh, Knight of Pentacles. Any Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Heavy on the Capricorn, heavy on the Virgo. Also a card of Sagittarius, also a card of Leo. Some sort of betrayal. Not being interested in being left out in the cold by whoever this Queen of Pentacles was. This betrayal by this Queen of Pentacles. This Capricorn energy or this other Earth sign or this Sagittarius. Had you moving very slowly away. What's this joy card? Pisces, present moment. Concern. Okay. What's this joy card? There's that 33 again. What's this joy card? Eight of Cups. What's this joy card? What's this joy card? Okay. So, you're trying to find balance. You're worried. Knight of Cups, it's just your energy. I can give you every sign, doesn't matter. It's a card of Pisces. It's your reading. You're trying to find some balance. You're doing some juggling. You're concerned about maybe, you know, what you can manage, what you can't. How you're going to bring on that joy in this process while you walk away. It's like you walked away to go find your joy. You're concerned, so you just walked off. You went on walking off looking for that Ninth Cup. Go you. Go get that cup. Go find it. The answers are out there. You can find them. What is this Knight of Serpents in Pisces near future? What is this Knight of Serpents? Distant horizons. You know, towards the future. What is this Knight of Serpents? What is this Knight of Serpents? What's this Knight of Serpents? Okay. Sagittarius. 
more than likely, or another fire sign, or Scorpio, is trying to hold on. Trying to hold on to something, trying to hold on to some sort of relationship. Three of Cups, talking about a reconciliation, wanting to talk about some happiness. Oh, look, look, I'm, you went walk off looking for that Eight of Cups. Look, I found you. Look, another cup. Do you want this cup? I'll give you this cup. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'll give you this cup. I promise. I promise. Sounds like BS energy to me. What is this six of pentacles? What's this benefit in Pisces near future? A journey. What's this benefit? What's this benefit? What's this benefit? Oof, this benefit's not a benefit, just so you know. Feeling indecisive, two of swords, minor arcana, justice card, Libra energy, could have to do with courts, documents. They could work in the justice system, they could be a judge, they could be a lawyer. Some sort of indecision, possibly by some Libra, doesn't have to be though about a trip, about a journey of some kind. They're going to be starting a fight. Five of Wands energy. That's what it was in the past. There's the same group of people, same stuff, same stuff we got coming up. It's going to be a fight. Nightmare energy with that Nine of Swords. This isn't going anywhere. We're fighting about it in the past. You're going to be fighting about it here in the future, too. Somebody's going to be trying to stop some sort of progress, some sort of journey. What's this chariot card in Pisces future? Yep, this person's in your community. Could be at work. What is this chariot card? This community card is public. Four of Cups. They're not interested in something. What's this chariot card? High Priestess. Page of Swords. High Priestess is the Cancer energy. Chariot is Cancer energy. It could be directly interacting with a can uh, Cancer at work. Four of Cups. Nope. Card. It's no thank you. Ace of Swords. More, more information is needed here. When they're not interested in getting more information. They're actually acting with a whole lot of immaturity with that Page of Swords. I feel like a little child. Fine. Fine. I want to have what I want. You want me to have what I want. I'm going to take my ball. I'm going to go home. Take my ball and go home. That's what it feels like. Little boy. Little snotty child energy. What's this? Not the little girls can't get like that. They can be snotty too. What is this magician in Pisces future? pathway so you're trying to manifest a, a trip a journey a you know a way forward what's this magician card Maybe your confusion what's this magician card over this king of swords king of swords any air sign aquarius libra gemini heavy on the aquarius also a card of capricorn trying to manifest this path forward where you can find a way to take some sort of break. Get your options that you need in place. Take some sort of break from whoever this King of Swords is. You need some separation there. Because you're definitely manifesting something. There's something about this person who's the, they're deliberately creating confusion for you. But this energy, this, you know, this. They're trying to confuse you, and that their attempts at confusing you is going to bring conflict. What is this conflict card in Pisces balance? Mature woman. You could identify as the mature woman. You could identify this other person as the mature woman. What's this conflict card? What's this conflict card? What's this conflict card? Standing at this crossroads because of this conflict. Needing this Pisces energy, you need to get a higher perspective, possibly on Aquarius. That King of Swords is an Aquarius energy. This is an Aquarius. That Divine is at play here with that Star card as well. This conflict was meant to happen. 
It was meant to be. It's asking you to come in with maturity, regardless of what your gender is. Get a higher perspective. Understand what's being asked of you. Come at it with some emotional maturity. What is this effort card in Pisces outcome? Toil and labor. What's this effort card? What's this effort card? What's this effort card? What's this effort card? Eight of Swords all up in your head. Your sword's energy is dangerous, not a sword's energy is dangerous. You can bring about your own troubles by worrying about them, by focusing on the problem so hard. And getting into the, that, mm, I don't want it. Why does it always have to be so? If you get in yourself into that energy, you will stay in it and you will stay stuck in it. You need to focus on the solution, not the problem. Auger in, auger down. Get to where you're being, why are you being triggered? Where are you being triggered? I'm not saying you shouldn't be triggered. Everybody gets triggered. There's always lessons. Where we're triggered are our lessons. You got to dig into those emotions so you can heal the original wound. There is no way forward, no way past it without healing it. Putting in that work, putting in that effort. Bringing something to some sort of conclusion or possibly... Uh, putting in that work and that effort so you can travel even though it's going to create some sort of of heartache even though you're up in your head about it you get three of swords energy here three of swords energy here what's this suffering card yeah it's about work what's this suffering card and a commitment what's this suffering card they're not playing around what's this suffering card king of cups more of that. All right. It's three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Got an energy. Three of Pentacles energy. All much more of a commitment. You, you very well could be asked to put in more of a commitment at work, and it's extra levels of stuff, and you just might not want to. You might not want that burden, that responsibility, that Ten of Wands, King of Cups, Eddie Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Scorpio, also a card of Libra. There definitely could be a Libra involved in the situation. But it doesn't have to be. This could easily be a Cancer. It could easily be you. It could be you having to boss up there. Go from that Knight of Cups to that King of Cups. Head up, shoulders back. Get ready. What's this hermit card? It's Virgo energy. What's this hermit card? Despair. You need to go within about the sadness. If you're feeling sad, you're feeling conflicted, you need to be going within to figure it out. What's this hermit card? Empress, Nine of Wands. What's this hermit card? Three of Wands. Got to look out towards that future. Figure out exactly what it is that you need. And that Three of Wands. Because you're feeling sad. Nine of Wands. Any fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Sagittarius. Also a card of Scorpio. Empress is Taurus, Libra energy. It's also Mother energy. Okay. Nine of Wands is inconsistent. Remember, we were dealing with him over here before. This solely focusing on this trying to hold on energy, trying to bring you that cup, trying to have this reconciliation. You have this energy rushing at you. You're wanting to go within so you can try to figure out where this despair comes from. Or it could be the nature of the relationship between these two people that creates this uh, this need to go within. What's this ability card? Mean female. What's this ability card? 
What's this ability card? What's this ability card? What's this ability card? What's this ability card? Villain defensive. Main female, you could identify as a main female or you could identify the other person as a main female. You have to take that as it resonates. If you were a female Pisces, you are the main female. Okay, if that's how you identify as female and you're a Pisces, you're the main female. This is you. Feeling defensive. Possibly because of a Virgo, possibly because of a Taurus. There is a tower coming. Okay, you're not avoiding the tower. Towers are a thing of a div the divine. They are orchestrated. No matter what side of the equation you might fall onto this with, things are being destructed. Okay, things are falling. These towers are happening for a reason. Yes, go within about this tower. Be careful with the defensive energy. Don't let it blind you. Don't allow fear of the unknown be the reason why you don't do something, why you don't start something, why you don't take any chances. Everything is an unknown to everybody the first time they go to do it. That's everything on earth. You're going to let it stop you from everything? I mean, did you let it stop you from learning to drive? That was scary once upon a time to you. First day of school when you were in kindergarten, that was scary too. We face our fears. We look them right in the eye and we stare at them unflinchingly until it is. And we fake that shit until we make it, till we get to the source, till we figure out what that pain is and we heal it. Do not run away from this tower. It is orchestrated. You'll be wasting your time anyway. Advice for Pisces, May 4th through the 11th. 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 Justice card, Libra energy. The justice system could very well be involved in your situation, but it doesn't have to be. Page of Swords. There's going to be some sort of opportunity that presents itself. Because information, Page of Swords... It's going to come in to you, possibly from a Libra, possibly uh, from somebody in the Justice Department, or just possibly some information that comes into you that helps you bring something back into balance. Something is out of balance and it needs to be brought back into balance. Anytime we're ending with Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, Five of Wands, these are not good. We do not strive to go through our everyday life having one drama-filled moment after the other. Nobody really wants that. Centered, balanced, even. Okay? That's what we're striving for in any moment. If you have a yes or no question you would like answered, this is the time to think it because this is the deck that does it. Message for Pisces. Ask your angels. Message for Pisces. Be assertive. Message for Pisces. Communicate clearly. That's your job to tell people what you want. You're not supposed to have to read your mind. Advice for Pisces, May 4th through the 11th. Adjustments are required, third quarter moon. Advice for Pisces, May 4th through the 11th. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Advice for Pisces, May 4th through the 11th. What do you need to release? Waning moon. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. A time for healing. Balsamic moon. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. I.e., this tower is coming and you cannot stop it. You cannot avert it. Okay? The harder it is you fight a tower, harder it is you try to force something to stay together that's not meant to stay together. The bigger the destructing when it comes down, the harder it is, the worse it is for you. 
Go with the divine. Follow where you're being led. Stop fighting. Stop not seeing what's right in front of you. I don't know in particular who needs to hear that, but somebody is trying to fight a tower. Knock it off. You're not bigger than God. I mean, if God's proven anything, it's that they'll do whatever the heck he wants to do. There's nothing you're stopping him with. You don't have the power. Message for Pisces. Growing the connection. When you grow plants inside, we can enter your world and share insights with you. Leave a little space about the plant so we can gift you little treasures and signs from time to magical time. Okay, Pisces, I hope that helps. Just remember, as you go about the world this week, that you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here.